Morning, Bouncer fans. Breaking news just happened. So I've just got on and uh, putting this video together. Is that Pierre Spargi and his assistant coach, Ferran Sibler, have gone by mutual consent. I don't know how many people are going to be on this live because it's early hours at morning. I've been <coughs> watching several media sources. Uh, there were a bit of rumblings going off. I think after the Huddersfield game on Friday, uh, kept a close eye on it. Yes, they know what's coming out, but a uh, club statement has been announced. It's been on social media, it's been on Sky Sports News. We've just got it, so I've just come on to do a live. Uh, so just get it out to your guys and sharing everybody like that. There's a few people watching. Uh, please leave like, comments, make sure everything's going through okay. You can hear me. But uh, club statement is that Poyer Spargi has gone by mutual consent with Ferran Sibler. Uh, I'll read a brief. Uh, happy Sunday, Reds. Yeah, happy Sunday. Uh, we've called 15 people on board. I'm really appreciating this. I want to get it out live. Uh, as soon as it happened, I always try to bring it to you live as best I can. And I've been watching several media sources. There were a few rumblings going off yesterday that, you know, discussions and talks were underway. They weren't, you know, things were going off. But I, when I did my live yesterday, I didn't want to say, oh, there's a fair amount of people coming on, so I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for taking me out this Sunday morning. Um, I can't believe it. Like to share, mate. Yeah, just keep it all going. Keep it all going. I'm going to read it out in a minute. Uh, didn't think this would happen, to be honest. Thought it had gone to season. Yep, I know what you mean, Gabriel. Yep. Expected, yes or no. Um, Perry Sports, he, what expected, but like what Gabriel just said, we, we all we all thought we were going to be, see what end of season. Because in the meeting, but I went to Khalid is that um, we didn't see any benefit on relieving managers and that from the messages of just pinging, pinging, pinging like I had all the time. So I probably if my phone's going off, I'm trying to keep everything going. But uh, I'm going to read out a bit of a statement from what Cleese said. So it's breaking news. Uh, so yeah, it was expected, uh, Perry Sports, but I think it was expected to be at the end of the season. Um, but we no points to play, no relegation spots. It's just going to be... Um, what can I say? Pride. Uh, Samuel B, uh, is it the right decision? Uh, let's celebrate rebuild of the club. Yeah, it needs to start. I'm going to read a bit of a statement out in a minute. Uh, like to share, appreciate it. Bye-bye. Hi, Neil, mate. Sorry I didn't join yesterday, but busy. I'll, not a problem. Not a problem, mate. Uh, like I said, I've been scouting several media things and it's just come on. So I wanted to get a live art, get it on, uh, because there might be a fair few people waking up and we're not uh, know about it. So at least it can ping and they've got it on their phones and uh, that I've done a live and it's come on. Uh, we were expected, regardless, but yesterday everybody expected to be at the end of the season. Yep. Cast construction. Yippee, get in there. So, yeah, it's uh, all good. Uh, it's all good. Uh, need to really take stock. I'm going to read a bit of statement out now. So, this is off the official club website. Barnsley Football Club can confirm the departure of both Poirot Spargi and first team head coach, uh, as first team head coach, sorry, and Francis Sibler back as assistant manager by mutual consent. The speed was appointed in the role in November 2021 and proved popular with players and staff alike here at Oakwell, taking over in difficult circumstances. As Spargi gradually improved the side performances, but ultimately it wasn't enough. Uh, this is what I'm just reading. On the departure, uh, Poyer Spice said, I want to thank everybody at Oakwell for their time and efforts over the last months. This, of course, includes players, fans and staff. It's been a real privilege to work for Barnsley and I wish every, everybody all the best, very best for the upcoming seasons. After Friday's night defeats at Oldersfield Town confirmed the club's relegation from the Skybet Championship, both parties agreed to end the 36-year-old tenure. Assistant uh, coach Fernand Sibler will also depart and the club would all last, like to thank him both men for Tyler's efforts. Outstanding professionalism throughout 2021. Khalid, uh, Chief Executive Officer, added, on behalf of Barnsley Football Club, I would like to thank both Poya and Ferran for their hard work, professionalism, but during a difficult time. Our search for a new coach has already started. An announcement will be uh, will follow once the process is concluded. So I've just got uh, sacked or walked. So I've just got messages going off, guys. Mark Devaney will now take charge as first team affairs, assisted by Tom Arben, which we all know, and Joe Lauman for the remainder of 2021 
2022 season with Reds set to welcome Blackpool to Oakwell on Tuesday night. And that's the end of the club statement. Um, so, yeah, guys, let me think what you think. Uh, I'll get back to some of your comments. Uh, uh, won't make any difference till the pre present owners uh, leave. Yeah, uh, agree. But it could be the start of things to, to come. Um, obviously, they've, they've done that by mutual consent. We're under review. So that's one. Uh, who knows? I'll be it might be first domino in a long line of dominoes. It back. And all being well, a fair few might fall after. Barnsley Matt, shame we can't sack the playing squad too as they let themselves down. The manager and fans down and half half performances. Another manager, our squad, I've got the sack. Yeah, partly agree with that. Uh, I partly agree with that. I do agree with um, players not, not playing rates with potential. But then again, when you look at managers and you're thinking if it were a strong will manager, uh, they want to took no shit off him kind of thing. So, uh, uh, good, good points, good points. Um, <clears throat> be interesting to see who's going to be in betting now because I'll be on betting app a bit later on seeing what who's going to be at first, you know, first choice. I was told we didn't rush into it. Got three games. Uh, what what your guys think, you know, keep, um, obviously, Devaney Arben is now and uh, Joe Lauman. We're going to keep him in charge, surely. Or, you know, see current uh, season, aren't we? Uh, what's going to be going off? I can't see any manager coming in at the end of the season. So take your time. Should have happened. Good. Yeah, BFD does. BFC does a good point, this one, mate. Should have happened uh, at least six weeks ago for me. One of the worst managers in history. Should have got one. Could have maybe could have had a chance. Good points. Very, very good points for BFC Dazzler. Um, and we all know that he, he wants to come in. Uh, what's coming to be fair, mate? Uh, was it good enough? And we say a bit of a season when player came out and experience in the league, what's over shows and didn't care about money. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Uh, another yes, man. Fair amount of uh, people what's joined on the live, which I'm I'm su not surprised, but this time in the morning on Sunday morning, but it is good. Uh, so if you, if you haven't already known, uh, this player of the has not been sacked. It's been done by mutual consent, so obviously it's been under review at the end of the season. And I think the vast majority of fans were half expecting it to have gone at the end of the season. But the choice has been done, uh, been made. In the red corner, just seeing this while at work. Good news. See, this is what I, I wanted to do. I wanted to do a live because not everybody's like uh, scouting social media, watching Sky Sport News and other news outlets. I've been doing for the uh, best part of yesterday and over and over football did a live. But I've also been set up certain things. I've been looking, looking about, see if there's any, uh, an inkling what's going to be happening. And I couldn't find out. Out. I think I was reading too much into his mannerisms uh, on Friday after Huddersfield game when he were about the club, this the club that. Um, sorry, my phone's going at minute light, like, so I'm 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 on a live, uh, so I'm just going to have to leave it and ignore it. Um, but yeah, is uh, let me just answer this. I am, I'm just on a live, but uh, it's been done by mutual consent. All right, no worries, mate. Mutual consent, mutual consent. Catch you in a bit. All right, bye bye, bye bye. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, about my son is working at minute. So uh, he just wants to know what it <laughs> mutual consent, what it sat, what he walked. So uh, got to let him know. Uh, didn't think uh, I don't like anyone getting the sat, but he wasn't good enough. Uh, not Devaney full time for me. No, uh, not Devaney full time for me as well uh, in red corner. For me, I'd like to see him, you know, in the setup and about one of Khalid's things. He identified it were in charge at under 23s and he wanted to bridge that gap from 23s to first team. I'd like to still see him as an assistant or involved in first team affairs, but not as a number one. Good point. Uh, get worn up. Do you know what? Daft as it sounds, this I know he said he retired at the end of the season, but would he come out? Would he come out and have another bite of cherry for one season? Dangle Carrot, do you think he'd come out? Knowing that he's got a soft spot and he'd come out of that comment and said that, it, you know, it'd come in if he'd got a call. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to see him, see what he'd do, because I think he'd know what he'd, 
what a grind and sloggy to take to get out of League One. But yeah, would he come? Be interesting, Matt. Uh, so a look. Reputation and the only other option uh, is we try and test it. So, you know, we look for a manager. Uh, we both keep uh, taking. So Devane is the only logical between these two choices, in my opinion. Yeah, keep hold. I can't see him putting another manager in before the end of the season with three games left. Wow, just saw this right now. Uh, thank God he's gone. League one. Would have been McGrim, such a negative manager, Matt Cole. Again, thanks guys for joining. Really appreciated it. Just wanted to do a live. Got some content coming through. Uh, there's no tells really much um, apart from that statement, what's what's going off. But as soon as it happened, I thought, you know what? I'm going to have to do away with my bacon butty in a minute and uh, keep a live out for you guys. I do appreciate it. Thanks for joining. Uh, too long. Uh, let's hope to get managing in the league this time. True. I'm going through your comments now. Hoping for a massive clear out. Styles, uh, everyone, would you agree? I think if an offer, a right offer came in, I think he'd go. Some players are going to have to go because they're uh, balanced books for money we're losing. So he's walked. Mutual consent with Boyo. Uh, you're under review at end of the season. Obviously, the results and that's what's been going. I think he's won four in his last 20 odd games. So it's not great. I think after the Huddersfield game, there were a few rumours going off saying that he might be going after the Huddersfield game. On the night, and that's why we're keeping an eye out for. I couldn't see out on all the social medias. And then this morning, I've been scouting stuff, uh, you know, doing a bit of homework and looking for bounds and yours, things like that. And it came through on club statement. And then when it, I put on Sky Sports and it might take a bar, I can confirm that it uh, is gone. So that's when I did a bit no doubt and found some more stuff out. And that's it's been mutual consent. Mutual consent by both parties. So I think he were on a review at the end of the season. If it worked out all right, he could have stayed. If not, option will be there for him. So obviously it's worked out for both parties. Cast construction. I've heard him I've heard it ting tong ping pong in jung. <laughs> Second <laughs> Yeah, ting tong ping pong. Uh gossip alert. There were forecasts from Belgium parts outside the gates of Plaza yesterday morning on town. Jed, about the only good uh, news of the season, who's there? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, very true, that. Yeah. Clear the piece, listen to the fans. If he's 99% in control, then surely the next appointment will be fan friendly. The mama, not stupid. Well, I think now is the time to shine. And if you've looked on other uh, posts and videos, what I've done is that. This summer is going to be absolutely critical, crucial. It's going to be crucial summer. It not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. A lot of things what need to happen for standards to improve, for a structure to get in place, for mentality, for mindset to be in place. We don't want to be going into League One. Well, we don't want to be starting League One. Sorry, playing catch up. We need to be on it straight away. I.e., manager or head coach, I like to call them now. Players, a squad settled. Got pre season and we need to hit the ground running. Uh, if we had a proper ambition, we'd get Gareth Ainsworth. Mm, yeah, I'm if you'd asked me a probably a couple of seasons ago for Gareth Ainsworth, I'd have said yeah. Um, but mm, I can see sell our best players in the next transfer window to offset the losses with being relegated and being players and back on loan to fill gaps that way. We ain't spending no cash. Um, it all depends. With, money what comes in in it we're gonna have to have to sell offset some players but can we recruit better not ever not ever chairman acting as a ceo can we recruit better that's going to be the main difference on this one if they won't even ask why not so leave that one alone yeah true bfc had to find some uh seven million pounds before we start putting the squad together yeah good point you're going to have to offset that, and then that's when we're going to have to start rebuilding what we've got left with. When you look at a squad, what we've got, you know, bare minimum. And uh, someone asked me on live yesterday, what what players would you keep? Yes, uh, what players would you keep, or would you like to keep? And for me, you're looking at Collins, but it's going to go. So it's going to be either Collins or Walton's going to be number one, because one of them will probably sell. Uh, back, I think Elliot will end up going. 
Uh, Apoami, I'd let go because he's out of contract anyway. He don't, don't play. Defence, you've got Williams out injured. Vita's on loan, but there's an option to buy via. You've got Britain, who's like confidence is shot. Uh, Kitchen is going to start. Anderson, confidence has been a bit iffy. When you go in midfield, you got Luke Thomas, Herbie Kane, out on loan. But after that, you've got Benson, who's been in and out and been out. Palmer, who's been in and out and out. Wolf, who's got a contract, so you're looking at Wolf. You've got Gomez, a winter player. You know, so it's not fantastic. You've got Jasper Moon floating about somewhere in there. Then up front, you've got Morris Woodrow. Bass is not ours. Styles will probably end up going. Queen is not ours. Adebayo is it a miss. Olair's out doing whatever he wants to do. Dvante calls is like, no, nowhere near match fit. He doesn't look the same player. George Miller's out on loan at Walsall. Who else have I missed any? Patrick Smith is out on loan. Izaka in and out. So when when you look there, it's, there's a lot of in and outs and if puts and maybe, isn't there? This is what I'm saying. We need a good point, though, Barnes and Matt. Yeah, but a good point. It needs to get readdressed, doesn't it? Uh, I don't want Devaney full time me, but yo, I don't. I don't. But the only uh, overall team, if I see, give the board's track record for him. I just want. I don't want. Uh, I think someone mentioned, I think Dale mentioned it about uh, Devaney and Assel, but I wouldn't want them as my number one and two. No disrespect to them, but I don't want them to be. If I'm wanting them, people call them out because Devaney loves club and I think it suits the role better in being involved in the first team affairs, stuff like that, under 23 stroke. Yeah. And people say, you know, and people say someone like McCarthy or Redfin and you start going back, but you start more going reminiscing rather than going more, we need someone to come in and actually make a difference. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that they won't, but could you see what had happened? Um, if they come in, it won't, you know, they didn't hit ground running, the expectations would be set a bit higher. And it's a bit before you know where you are, you're going to have to, you know, relieve McCarthy or Redfin or a player of that, um, well, player, manager, you used to be a former player, that kind of issue. But it'd be interesting to see what's going to be front, front, the front line of betting. And I will not you know, I won't be surprised with Warren up me because I know I said he'd be retired. But if he's got a soft spot, I mean, what arm would be? What arm would be it? Someone like Warnock coming in. And you've got Devaney learning off him. You've got rest of, you know, back room staff learning off him. And he take no shit. Probably bring Blackwell in as well. You know, he take no shit. You probably see an Ungerfot game, players fighting, probably fitter, a structure, a winning mentality. And you look on his videos all over social media, Warnock, when he's like ranting and raving, and he's going out, you've got to fucking die for these three points. You've got to, that's what you want as a manager. And it's going to install it into you. You're going to be, you know what? I'm going to go out and get him all because I don't want to rock it off him. And probably if that's what some of the players need. I, I don't know. I'm not in the dressing room. But I think if you see different difference in the dressing room, the training uh, side of things, they'll come out of pitch in a different way, wanting to put the blocks on line, wanting to get it up the all, wanting to know that if they don't do a job, that they're going to get a rocket up the ass from one or not. Kind of manager. Yeah. So for me, you know, if Warnock said he's retired, I mean, he's retired. But, and I mean, it's a massive, massive but this. If a club wanted to get more, you know, fan engagement and all to the way things, we've got to ask for some someone for like that, a Warnock kind of manager. But that's my opinions. That's my opinions. Uh Decent backgrounds, AF Surf, Matt Cole. Not bad opinions, isn't it? So, right, keep it going. First time I've smiled since Boyd came in, just shout. Makers hungry now, talking about bacon, but it, yeah. Um, I'm not going to be on before I get one of a nice cup of tea, mate, to be fair. Uh, but I had to get this out for you. I'm a manager, kind of a cam for the net board. True. Uh, but when you look at board, they, they employ these managers. So it starts from bot, uh, from bot, from top. And it works its way down. So, strong structure at the top, and you'll find out that it uh, goes all the way down. But, yeah. Uh, Defo Jed. 
this time smiles. I think vast majority. Gabriel. Wow. Morris, Woodrow, Collins, Anderson, Ellick, Styles, Britain. I'm positive we'll leave this summer. Funds raise, we should, should. Get good money for Morris, Collins, Styles, Ellick and Anderson. Out of what you've just mentioned via, I think, uh, 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 Ellick, Styles, Britain. Collins and either Morris or Woodrow, one or other. I don't think we'll all go. I hope we don't all go. Let's take them out, plus add on your four loan players, plus on, add on your two out of contract players, Apoami and Romal Palmer. That's It's going to be a completely different side, isn't it? So, hmm, it'd be interesting. Oh, unless we get some owners, some new owners come in and we've got a bit of money and we said, yeah, do you know what? We can offset this. Who knows? We might, you, yeah, you, you've got to live in hope, haven't we? Uh, at this moment in time, there's stuff going off in France with Nancy. I've got a, a special interview coming up for the next couple of days regarding that. So keep your eyes peeled on that one with troubles and that, what's happening, both here and abroad. Uh, but yeah, who knows? If, if, if we do change hands and the new owners come in, would they, you know, possibly said, you know, we might have to offset a couple, but we can, you know, if we get up it next season or two, we're, at, we're good, we're all right, we aren't going into any financial difficulties, put it that way. But yeah, push out, Gabriel. Uh, let's sort of board quick next and sell up. I really feel uh, sorry for Bouncy, but you will smash uh, League One with Derby. I don't know about that. I think Derby will, but uh, I think we'll struggle to get in playoffs from Sen. But like I said, that's uh, another chat. Last time we went uh, went into League One, we were squad built under the crime regime. We had a lot of uh, phys physical quality improving players like if more complete opposite now. Yeah, it's complete flipped it, hasn't it? If out is com complete opposite. Uh, Point had to go. Uh, Sorry, my phone is going off. Uh, need a, need a manager for League One. These few games could be uh, us apprentice. I see you in the first stand. No Devaney for me. It goes uh, picked up. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we don't want to happen. But I'd, I'd keep, you know, Devaney. I'd say, like, look, still stopping for Steam Settle, you know, because he's, he's he knows the players from uh, 23s. Certain players uh, were playing like headless chickens. They don't want to see them understand. Not playing just for the team, but their career. Yeah, true. Probably get Stendhal back these owners. How to work. Fits a spreadsheet. Fans love him. Got us up before. Outside, that, isn't it? But, hmm. Walking around with retirement about 12 years ago. He attempted to come back if he would ask. This one, what about? Yeah, tongue in cheek, you know. Would you be interested, Ben? If it, oh, you are. Could you imagine a feel good factor? It'd be interesting though. It'd be interesting to see how popular it'd be with fans. Mm. I feel you need a manager with passion and tactical now. So all the best from a Luton Town fan. Appreciate it, Martin. Thank you. And uh, yeah, you're doing well in playoffs. Great work in playoffs, mate. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I saw a game yesterday. Um I see one on uh, Sky. Gabriel, uh, we could like utilize both Ferber K and Jack H in next season, League One, but I don't know if either of them will stay with us, to be honest. Depends if Oxford come in for a decent offer we uh, became. Jack Aitchinson, again, it, it all depends with him. It, you know, is he, if he's enjoying life at his club, is out on loan, would he want to come back? Good calls, good shouts, good content, uh, guys. Uh, been on 20, 20 odd minutes like now. So, yeah, I just came on for a, a live just to announce that. But club statement that Poyer Spargy and assistant Ferran Sibler have gone by mutual consent. Not sacked. I don't like that, but mutual consent. And we all know that they were under review at the end of the season. But decision has been taken. And it was this morning, breaking news. I'll get it uploaded for everybody to watch, watch back because there's been an unbelievable amount of people in here. There's been 50 odd people plus. On, on this live on a Sunday morning. Uh, if you are watching, please hit the like button. It means so much. Uh, it helps keep all the content and uh, uh, videos 
you know, an algorithm and it, it as soon as all happens, it comes uh, straight to people. So please hit the like, subscribe and share button. I really do appreciate it. It does help out massively. As soon as all happens, I will come live. I will let you know. Any more news, any more rumblings, then um, I'll keep it all going. Uh, so, yeah, just on that note, I'm just going to go through a few more comments. I'll read out the last statement from what's been done. Love one because manager, tactics, player, manager, passion and experience. That's what we need. That's what we've been lacking. Forest Green had a fantastic season, mate. Exactly. So, who knows? He might want to go there. Forest Green coming with an offer. They'll probably sell. You know, I happy player's gone. I'm delirious, mate. I'm delirious, mate. I called for him after the Reading game, uh, even more so when I went on Radio Sheffield, when he was getting interviewed, sorry, by Radio Sheffield, with Andy Giddens, and he were denying everything what was said. He was getting Teddy Hart at court. So I went on Radio Sheffield myself. I didn't say it when he from Tax TV. I should have done probably, but I just been on my name because it comes up on uh, auto generator form. I had my say, and for me, he should have gone then because back when we lost against Red, it lost. Felt like a loss, but when we drew against Reading, one apiece, I thought back with it, back would be nailing coffin, our season's done with. So the players aren't, there's no, what can I say? When I'm looking at, when I'm looking at, I go to any game, I always look at the manager of the dugout, and when you see your manager not emotional, not up with it, not fighting for it, not kicking a ball, and not, I'm thinking, that's not translating. So for me, he might as well go. And, and I said it as, all, all, on my lives and previous videos, I'd have put Devaney and Lauman, give them two, obviously Thomas Arben's in now, give them two until the end of the season. And players probably might have thought with a bit more belief and passion because we did it when shot went. Uh, Joe Lauman took off at Reigns and he got his first win against uh, Derby County. And people say, yeah, players were playing with more expression and more freedom. But also been playing with a bit more belief as well, I, I believe. Um, yeah, we lost against Hull, but I'm thinking if we could have got a better structure in place here, we would have probably been rushed into a position where we were appointing a manager, what's only won four games. Poor, isn't it? Come in and we were no better off. So would we have been better just keeping out of the shop? It will not ideal, but look at money, what we've spent out on gaining them in to come in and make zero difference, really, to be fair. So that's my opinion, but yeah. Uh, I'm delirious, Jed. I'm delirious, mate. Uh, we've won, sadly, after one season. Or, uh, so we could go back to search for another manager. I'd give it an option. I said, look, can you get us up? What can you do? There's an option for another extension. But, uh, sadly. Right, man. So, thanks, people. Uh, so, clear statement. On behalf of Bounce Football Club, I'd like to thank both Poyer and Ferran for their hard work and professionalism during a difficult time. Our search for a new coach has already started an announcement follow uh, when we, in the process is concluded. So for now, for the last three games of this season, I'm thinking at least, Martin Devaney will now take charge of first team affairs assisted by Tom Arben, Joe Lauman for the remainder the remainder of the 2021-22 season with Red set to welcome Blackpool at Oakwell on Tuesday night. So... Uh, you missed my comment, mate. Which one was that? Boy, he's uh, always sat down, mate. He's not worth a passion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah he's... Uh, has, yeah, no passion, no fate. He, he looks lost, doesn't he? He looks lost. Yeah, he looks lost, mate. Um, liked and shared, mate. Thanks, Gabriel. See you. Let's have a look at this. CEO has already said... Uh, they'll have to sell players to make up the loss in revenue for going down. If we ever clever, will keep great players, but I doubt it. I expect the lose good players yet again. Woody in times, it could be, but you know, as as the standards alter, as it changed, it needs to, it needs to, because uh, if we want to got any ambition or not, we need to get back in championship, and we need to get back in it pretty sharpish. But you look at League One and look how hard it is there as well in League One. So it's it's one of them, isn't it? So it looks like we'll not be getting a, a managing for end of the season. Um, Martin Devaney will now take charge of first team affairs, assisted by Tom Arben and Joel Alman for the remainder of 21 22 season. Uh, and the first game in charge will be Blackpool on Tuesday, followed by Preston and then West Brom away. So that's the breaking news this morning. 
I had to get out for you. Uh, one last comment. I'd love to see Devaney take it. But if it goes to it's up, it'll be forced to start players like Kane H and some of the young ones need to utilize me, James B, Josh, before etc. Yeah, I, I, there's been a few comments Devaney and Assel, but we, we don't want to see him uh, take it full time. They, they might think differently and beyond belief. They might want it full time. But personally, I like to see him kept it for his team affairs, not to be his number one. So, guys, I want to thank you for joining this morning. It's been on half an hour now. There's been over 50, 50 plus, knocking up 60 uh, at one point. On a Sunday morning, breaking news is that Poyer Spargi has gone with his assistant. Mutual consent, not sacked, but by mutual consent. Could be a start for things to come. Uh I think a lot of play, a lot of fans that have been expecting him to go end of the season, but it's gone now. Mutual consent. So I want to thank everybody for watching. Have a rest of a good Sunday. I uh, appreciate you for joining me. If you're watching back, please leave your comments below. I'm no doubt it's going to be a fair few comments coming in. Um, or, or, you know, it should have been done ages ago. And this other. I will answer them all when, when there's comments on, on the channel. I do answer them all. I get around to them, I like them, love them. I always reply back to them. So if you're watching back, please leave your like, subscribe and share. And happy Sunday, I think. Uh, move on to Blackpool, which will get some content out and also special content regarding what's happening abroad as well. Have a good rest of your day. One thing left to say, you were heads. <laughs>